Lumps of clay like this will soon become a cleaner, safer and cheaper way to cook for the hundreds of thousands of families across West Africa who currently have to use traditional charcoal stoves. This scrap metal is being battered into a shape that can reduce greenhouse gas emissions and deforestation. They all become Toyola energy efficient cook stoves. The ceramic liners are insulating and heat retaining, so these stoves use a third less charcoal. Since Toyola started in 2006, the company has sold over 150,000 stoves. Each one is stamped with a unique serial number, allowing Toyola to monitor sales and keep a close eye on its quality control. Sio Kwaku, an experienced independent metal worker, has made many stoves for Toyola. He was trained for free by the company. In return, he agreed to pass this training on to at least two more people. I have trained 25 people and all of them now know how to make these stoves and they are still producing them. I am always busy. There is always a demand for these stoves. What Toyola does is to guarantee a market for you. Any number you produce, Toyola buys. And that motivates people to work very hard. I have lost count of the number of stoves that I have made. Artisans aren't the only people benefiting from the large demand for Toyola stoves. Over the course of four years, I have sold around 6,000 stoves. For Gina, an independent retailer, it's been a life-changing experience. Customers are happy with the stoves because they don't consume much charcoal. It only takes a little for the food to be cooked. The stoves have helped me and my family. They have enabled me to buy land and expand my business. Business. It's great. People will use the product and they will love it and tell you other people about it and then they will start making money from it. To reach even more families, Toyola employs sales agents who bring the stoves right to the customers' homes. When I was working at a school, Toyola arrived with stoves. When I was told the price, I decided to buy one. I used it to cook rice and realized that it only needed very little charcoal. I started telling all my friends and soon everyone in town was buying them. After this, I decided to become a sales agent. A lot of charcoal is produced unsustainably. So Toyola stoves cut greenhouse gas emissions. Each one produces one ton of CO2 less per year than these traditional stoves. This helped the company become one of the first stove manufacturers in Africa to receive carbon finance. It's used as a subsidy, bringing the sale price down to as low as $7. But for many, even this price is out of reach. The majority of our customers cannot pay cash, so we give them credit. Since Toyola stoves reduce the amount customers need to spend on charcoal, the company provides them with a money box, helping them to save this money and pay off their loan. When I got the stove, I was given this money box. Every day, I put money in. When I eventually took out all the money, I had enough to pay for the stove. The demand for Toyola cook stoves is so great that as soon as a batch is shipped, another has to be made. Today, Toyola have arrived in Mawase, 300 kilometers north of Accra. They're bringing their stoves here for the first time. We are a business, but we are a social enterprise, which means we are not just looking for money. We want to help people that are considered poor. An enthusiastic presentation generates lots of interest. Normally after a presentation like this, we don't go by with anything. We are convinced to save them money and to improve their health and life level. So they are receiving it very well. As news of the stove spreads and the company grows, 
More and more people are demanding Toyola cookstoves. We are already in Togo. We are going to be in Benin and Sierra Leone before the end of the year. It's improving the future of the nation. So I feel good being a part of this.